Divers have discovered what is believed to be the world's first two-headed sea slug. A diver came across this psychedelic creature near a sandbar called Kapalay, off the coast of Sabah in eastern Malaysian Borneo. The abnormality may have been caused by a birth defect or even pollution. As well as having two heads, the slug, or nudibranches they are also known, also possesses both female and male sex organs, because all nudibranches are hermaphrodites. The creature, measuring around an inch long 2.5 centimeters, is part of the species Nambratha kuberiana, but is more commonly known as a variable neon slug due to its incredible coloring of neon green and bright orange which warns predators of their toxicity. They feed on sea squirts, tiny creatures with bag-like bodies, removing chemicals from them which it then stores, before exuding as a slimy mucus if it is threatened by predators. Dive master Nash Beatty made the find while he was working for film company Scubazoo, making a new series called Borneo from Below. He showed the creature to Clay Bryce, a new branch expert and marine biologist at the Western Australian Museum in Perth. I have never seen another two-headed marine creature like this before and I have spent 10,000 hours underwater chasing nudibranchs," said Mr. Bryce. Actually this sort of deformity sets the animal up for an early death, but it does appear to be adult or at least sub-adult so perhaps this is a case of two heads being better than one," he quipped. It is a birth defect. Just a slight mix-up of genes or perhaps damage caused by pollution. However, the latter one would expect more incidences to have occurred. The crew were searching for the island's most interesting underwater inhabitants to feature in their film, but had not expected to find a one-off. The film's presenter, Aaron Bertie Gukowski said, when Nash came back from the dive and reported his find we didn't believe him at first. Due to our film schedule we couldn't get out there for another 72 hours, so we're very skeptical that it would be found again. However, Nash managed to locate it in exactly the same place as before. Perhaps its two heads pulled in different directions, bringing it to an eternal standstill? I spent nearly an hour with the new branch, waiting for it to get in the right position for a headshot. It's not just its two heads, but amazing neon coloring that make it really stand out. While the unusual specimen found was just 1 inch 2.5 centimeters long, the sea slug species can grow to measure 5 inches long 12 centimeters 